Hello, my adventure kings and queens. So, um, my voice might be a little raspy, I'm under the weather, so don't mind me. Um, but we'll be doing a brand new application of Cushy Whip. And I was noticing that my party line, I think it's time to get a new one. If you notice, you see that little crack ashy part right here? Or right up here? Yeah. It's coming apart, which is part of my party line. And look, this is part of the, you can see it on my hand. That's part of the material of the, of the hard line, which you can barely see, but that's what it looks like. Um, but it's still manageable to apply my cushion grip, so I'm soaking it right now in some warm water for five minutes. Make sure you're soaking for a good five, yeah, five minutes, but make sure it's soaked in warm water. Not too hot, but warm. Enough to make the thermoplastic super soft to come out. And you also want to make sure that your cushion grip, when you're taking it out of your water, because you know these little caps will hold a little more extra fluid water inside. You want to make sure everything is super dry, so you don't have no moisture on your hands, fingers, anywhere, no moisture anywhere around your denture for your push whip application. So before we get started, I want to thank Cushion Whip for sponsoring this video. And if you need a discount, you can use my code Julia in capital letters, capital letters 710. And that should take off about two dollars for your first two of Cush Whip. So moving on with the video. So now it's nice and warm. I'm going to apply it on my denture. As so we're gonna use the little key. Hold on. Make sure this key is on because this key will help you push up the the product. So sometimes it can get a little hard with the with the tube. So just make sure it's nice and warm. You want to add your key and this is all you like to just rip it. That's it. You uncap it, and you're going to have the thermoplastic being nice and warm. It's going to put out, just like so. Yep, like that. I'm going to use about this much, and you want to reclose it. Make sure it doesn't spill out. And by the way, this is a sample size, not a regular size. But we'll be getting into the video. We're going to rub it right now, make it nice and warm, and then you're going to add it onto your dentures. Now, I have nails on right now, so. Just want to make sure you get into your little crevices while you're adding your cushion grip to your denture. I might need a little bit more. I think I'm going to need a little bit more actually. So, I'm going to make sure that it's nice and in there, right in where you have your trough of your gum area so that it can give you good suction. I'm going to need a little bit more. I just want to squeeze out a little bit more like this. Oop. Squish it. Cover it. And then we're going to squish again. And we're going to apply more. Being that it's nice and warm together, you're gonna mush it, um, squish it into the trough area just like that. You're gonna squish it more down. I never bring it all the way to the end of my palette, just enough right here because again, when your body chemistry is in the spread, and I don't wanna have too much product oozing out, and then it's gonna be kind of wasteful. So just keep it in mind when you're applying your cushion grip, and make sure you get all the little teeny tiny little tiny crevices because that's where you're gonna get your suction from your tiny little gums. <laughs> so just wanna do that. Make sure it's nice and applied, nice and secure. Get it a little bit more into my middle of my chalk. I'm sorry, the middle of my palette. And just spread it, just like that. Just like that, see? And we're gonna let this settle for about five minutes before we pop them in. So while I'm letting this one settle, I'm going to grab, I'm just making sure I have it all completely in here, guys, hold on. I'm going to grab um my lower denture, and we're gonna apply it there now. I think I need to warm it up again because it got a little too cold to touch. So you just want to make sure it's upside down like this while you have it in warm water. And then we get warm and you can spread it again. So mine's gonna be cool because I do have my AC on running. So give me a few minutes and then we're gonna make sure that's nice and dry before we apply the new application. So it's pretty warm again. And now I'm gonna add it to the bottoms. Oh, hold on. I put moisture on my fingers, so I wanna make sure that everything's nice and dry before I apply my bottom. Alright, so now going into the bottom, we're gonna push out some more. That should be good. And we're gonna spread it, kind of like a hot dog, and stretch it out. And then we're gonna spread her all over, make it longer, so you can reach from end to end, just like so, just like that. See? Apply it in, squish it down, and spread it. Just like that. Okay? Just like that, guys. Now we're gonna let it wait. Gonna, well, I'm gonna let it dry for a good five minutes before I pop them in my mouth. Um, just making sure I'm spreading it all through my material of my denture. And again, I need to get, I think I need to redo my hard line because it looks like it's a little bit um trippy. So, and that'll play a role with your cushion grip. So make sure that your line is 
to part before you'll probably cut your I still have time before I can change my part of nine, so I'll um, do my application with my customer, but hopefully it won't interrupt my application. So remember, five minutes before you pop them in, I'm gonna give it about two more minutes. Um, no soaking, you gotta wear them for a good four hours, two to four hours in your mouth, let them just adhere to your gums. Um, you're gonna feel a little bit of suction. Remember, this, remember you guys, this is not, um, it's not an adhesive like um, potty grip or fixing it, it's a thermal plastic, so, Thermal plastic is way different than a regular adhesive. This is just to give you a little bit of better suction um, and a much more better fit for loose denture. So always keep that in mind. So remember, us denture rubbers, we're never gonna have a tight denture fit. It's, you know, <laughs> if you do, then <laughs> child, you are blessed, okay? But um, yeah, we're never gonna have a really tight fit. We're gonna get a fit, but not a tight, tight fit where we don't need help or products to navigate them. So if you are navigating your dentures without any products, adhesives, and you just can them on that hard acrylic without nothing, kudos to you. But me, I can't. I'm still shrinking, I'm 21 to post off, so. We're gonna pop them in and we're gonna see how this goes. I have a number in front of me back for you guys. Hold on, let me move this back. Move them right over here. And let's see if it's just in case. See? Okay. Now I'm gonna get them in. Let's see how they do. I got them in. I feel a little bit of the overspell, which is nothing too crazy, but. You see it? I'm gonna let it do its thing. Um, but yeah. So you just wanna keep it in your mouth for, sorry, for a good. Mm. A good four hours if you could. Try not to eat or drink anything. Just let them do what you're supposed to do. Um, no soaking for 24 hours. Don't forget that. What you can do is, um, if you have like a damp towel or a watch on like so, just moisten it and add your denture, cushion free, um, cushion grip side up, deep down on the rag and just like kind of like keep it like that covered in a nice safe place. No one's gonna touch them. And um, give it a good 24 hours before you're gonna go and soak them in any water. And yeah. And then after your 24 hours, you can go to your normal cleaning, brushing them, doing everything that you do, like your normal routine. Just give it 24 hours before you soak them in any water. I normally wait about 48 hours, not 24. I mean, maybe because I'm shrinking so much and because I have to use a little bit extra kitchen grip, so um, I like to give it 48 hours. But everyone is different. Everyone has their own routine on how they find what works for them with their kitchen grip. So it's super amazing. Kitchen grip has saved me for my 20 months of my... Um, than to journey okay so as you see i just popped them in my mouth with my cushion grip i don't have no adhesive remember cushion grip is not an adhesive it's just a thermal plastic to help you give you some suction comfort um and just a successful denture journey you know with your light because wearing dentures changes your light for um it's a big light changer okay and um all for the better though because once you get rid of those bad teeth you're good to go so my main thing is just cushion grip has helped me a lot it gives me my suction i'm able to talk i'm able to do what i gotta do um it's still settling, so by tomorrow I'll feel a lot better when I'm wearing them. Right now they're just they're doing what they need to do. As you see, it's spreading. It's okay. That's what it normally does. That's why I said just don't put too, too much because it, you know your body chemistry needs to spread and you just have a little excess that you have to get rid of. But nothing that you can't, nothing that's unfixable. So don't let that discourage you. Um, there's instructions on your tissue grip, how to use it. And again, I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. And um, don't forget, you can check in my description for the code. It's Julia Capital Letters 710. Um, you can go into the my tissue grip website. Once you do that, you can pass in the code at your checkout and it'll take off $2 off for each tube. So hopefully this can help you guys with your journey. Um, and again, big thank you to Cushion Grip for donating those samples to my dentist for their patients. Um, big, uh, big thank you, big thank you, big thank you. Um, and that was so helpful and so appreciated with you guys. And um, I hope that this can help many. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So remember, no soaking the 24 hours that you do your application. Give it a day or two. Um, you can put them on a damp cloth, like I said, to the side and just let them do its thing. Like I said, I'm gonna have a little spill over. But everything looks good. Uh, but, no. See? I'm gonna have a little spill over. But once you, once they do a stain and after you have a few four hours that you have them in and you're ready to take them out, don't put them in water. Put them to the side on a nice damp cloth. But tomorrow, when you're ready to put them in, you can mix them, uh, brush your guns, brush your tongue, do what you can do. And you can use adhesive over your tissue grip as well if you feel that you need the extra security. I'm an adhesive girl, so I would normally put adhesive over it. But right now, I'm a no adhesive, just my tissue grip. I'm letting this do it. I'm letting it do its thing. So tomorrow will be a better fit. But right now, it's good. It's okay. So I'm gonna have another spell over. Just give it the access, and you should be fine. I will see you on the next video, and I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. And um, check the description for your code. Um, sorry for your discount for two dollars off. I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.